All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Um, uh, we're getting a little bit of showers and stuff like that right now, but just small little mist, but uh, it looks like it's really gonna pick up here in the next uh, couple hours into the evening, but let's get to it. Um, this is basically your fulsome report for, what is today? Uh, today is March 22nd, it's so a Friday. Uh, we're about at four o'clock. Um, fished uh, from sun up to to now. Um, fish mainly the main body the first part of the day. So I fished the peninsula, all offshore spots, all stuff that I haven't fished in a long time. Um, and it definitely produced, but maybe not uh, as good as I wanted it to. They're in those typical offshore humps, you know, where all the uh, contour lines stack up, that sort of thing. I mean, this is this is kind of textbook stuff right now this time of year. Um, but they're sitting in those, you know, long sloping points. They're where all the lines stack up on the steep side of the the island, the underwater island. They're sitting there, um, and then later on in the day, uh, went and fished kind of out by the Beals Point area. Um, you know, caught a few there, uh, mainly on finesse. Uh, same thing. Um, I don't know that area a whole lot. I could probably get a whole lot better at fishing that area, but that's something to explore. It's a big, large flat, so I'm expecting that to come into play here pretty soon with spring coming up and, um, and the water temperature rising. Um, and then we went and, and fished kind of the uh, the north side of the peninsula, hit some of the normal spots that, uh, that we did this time of year last year for the kayak tournament. Uh, went shallow, like dirt shallow, caught a few dirt shallow. Um, so, uh, and then after that, you know, the wind started really picking up. We went up north past, uh, past Dotton's and then, um, you know, had some offshore spots there. You know, there's a bunch of boulders and stuff in the water. I mean, you can just run buoys this entire time you're out here and you're probably going to catch fish if you want to just, just come out here just to catch fish. Um, you can't go wrong. I mean, the uh, parks department out here does a great job of marking all the hazards. And most of the time I, uh, I have them marked on my phone or on my graph at home on the iPad. I come out here and they're already marked with a hazard buoy. So let's get into, um, I guess, we'll do a quick rundown on lake conditions. I think we're about 30 feet from full. Uh, I got to check the, the website. Water temp. Water temp was anywhere from 50 to 60, or sorry, 58 to 60, which is really good. That's way up from the last time I was out here. It was in 54, 55, so that warming trend's definitely helping. Uh, overcast today, uh, for most of the day, the sun did come out. Uh, clarity, you're probably looking at 10 feet on water clarity. It's, it's, it's pretty clear out here. Um, and I think that about wraps us up for late conditions. Um, oh, ramps in the water. Uh, I'm up here at Granite Bay. Uh, the main, I think, I think they call it stage four ramp, it's not open. Uh, the lower ramp, uh, where you drive down the stage four ramp to a large parking lot, that's open for main like kayakers where you can launch yourself and you can, you know, kind of beach your uh, kayak there. And then if you're just solo in a boat or, you know, you're paired up, um, I think they call it Granite Bay Stage 3, which is a little bit lower than Stage 4. That's open. Um, it gets a little congested, but they just dropped another ramp in the water here. So now, or not ramp, but a dock. So now they have two docks. Uh, I believe the Hobie ramp's open. I think uh, Folsom Point's open as well. Rattlesnake still. We're still waiting on Rattlesnake on that one. So um, overall, that uh, should wrap you up for your late conditions. Um, Let's get into what caught him today. So, name of the game was basically color um, and, and finesse. Um, so again, nail weight at Cinco, green pumpkin color. Everything I caught fish on today was all green pumpkin. So again, this did the trick. This was you know mainly up shallow. You're talking 10 feet or less is when I was using this. Um, you know, kind of later in the day. The next one we we had success with it's actually this new one it's a z-man it's like a uh, ned rig but it's got a skirt on it comes you know you i didn't put the skirt on it this is how it comes and then you got the reaction innovations green pumpkin black flake uh smallie beaver so um, 
I mean, they, they absolutely chewed this thing. This was on from the last time I was out here. Um, I mean, I haven't had a whole lot of success with reaction innovations out here, but the last couple trips, man, this thing is just getting chewed. So, um, and again, the skirt kind of, you know, it's something different, but again, the skirt's in green pumpkin too. So green pumpkin was the name of the game. All right, and the last one, um, I mean, if you pay attention at all to what's going on out here, this isn't a surprise. It's your Kitech green pumpkin finesse jig. You know, this thing's a player out here no matter what. For some reason, I threw uh, a black skirted jig, I threw a brown skirted jig. Green pumpkin is, again, it's getting chewed. I don't know why, but they're just hammering it. So um, I did get some short strikes on this. Uh, the first part of the day, they were just uh, biting off the, uh, the tails on the grub, but Again, this grub is just a Yamamoto double tail grub. So, you know, end of the day, you know, I, I threw a little bit of reaction today. Um, my confidence was mainly in in uh, throwing the jig and throwing the finesse stuff today. Um, but I mean, at some point, the reaction bite's going to go off here, and I'm sure you can burn a bunch of bank and find it. But uh, for me, the consistent bite was, uh, you know, finesse, uh, dragon, you know the all soft plastic type baits so um, I don't know my best advice for you guys is you know get out here uh, enjoy the uh, uh, the lake why uh, while we don't have a bunch of ski boats out here and um, you know jet skiers and, and all that sort of thing and uh, don't be afraid just to, to keep it simple really um, caught I think anywhere from eight to ten fish today uh, nothing huge nothing over you know two pounds but still catching fish still having a good time um, but overall, that's your Fulsome Report. That wraps us up for this video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for following. And of course, if you like this video, like, subscribe down below. And we'll keep putting out content for you guys. Catch you guys out on the water next time. We'll see you.